we can create a space-time diagram for a particular reference frame to help with visualization. Real space-time is four-dimensional, which we can't represent on a sheet of paper. However, we can simplify the diagram to capture the essence of space-time locations if we assume a single dimension of space. That way, we can draw space horizontally on one axis and time vertically on another. We can also arbitrarily pick a point as our origin, which will be our chosen reference point to compare against all other events in space-time. The space-time map can now be associated with coordinates in space and time for any event in the reference frame relative to the origin. We can now look at all events across all of space and time by looking at this one space-time map. We can also travel through a series of events, one after the other, in a chain such that it creates a path through space-time. We call this the world line. For example, let's launch a model rocket from our location and watch the events unfold from our position where we are standing still or at rest. We can call this event O, and we can pick that to be the origin for our space-time map. We stand still after launching the rocket, but time continues to pass forward. We map our path through space-time as moving straight up through the diagram along time. At the same time, our launched rocket is moving away from us, but time is also moving forward. Thus, the rocket moves both away in space, but also forward in time. Perhaps there is a brick wall a certain distance away from where we are standing, and the rocket collides with that wall. Let's define that as event C. We can also say that event A is just a point in space-time to represent the position of the wall at the time we launched the rocket. We can also say that event B is the point in space-time when we see the rocket hit the wall. The vertical line from event A to event C shows the rocket and the wall are the same location in space, and their separation is the time from the rocket launch to the impact. The horizontal line shows the rocket impact at C and relative to us at B at the same time. The separation of B and C shows the distance from us and the point of impact at the wall. 